Okay, so the French Revolution really does usher in this new age, but there are some stages to this. So first and foremost, you have the National Assembly, they're moderate, put in place, then they become radicalized, and they start rebelling. The third phase is confusion, which direction do we go? Fourth phase is dictatorship, and then the last phase is the Bourbon monarchy being restored. So this moderate phase, what does this mean? So in the last video, we've looked at how the assembly presents a new constitution. They develop this constitution that limits the royal power. They have a unicameral legislator where voters are males who pay taxes. Um, the radicals are seen as left, moderates are center, and royalists are right. And today, these terms describe the per political positions. You have moderates goals are achieved in all of this. They establish the basic rights, they limit monarchy, and they freed power from the first and second estates. Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette tried to flee to Austria to escape the growing unrest, but they were caught. And he it reluctantly accepts his limited monarchy. The people run a, want, ultimately, a republic because they don't trust the king. And panic erupts throughout all of Europe because the French nobles um, tell foreign governments that their rule would be threatened if they did not help stop the French Revolution because they wanted the monarchy restored. The monarchy restored means that they can go back to their old way of life. So French revolutionary leaders were very fearful of Austria in particular because of Marie. That's where she was from. So they end up with declaring war on Austria. Now comes the radical phase. So the radicals, the moderates went out in this. They established their declaration of the rights of man and the citizen. Well, now you start to see the radical phase as all of these conspiracies are floating around. So they attack Versailles. They imprison Louis XVI and his family, as mentioned at the end of the last video. And then you have the September massacres. You've got nobles and priests who are being killed. And you ultimately have the radicals taking over the assembly and call for a national convention to create a new constitution that extends the vote to all males. So the National Convention in 1792 officially ends the monarchy and establishes a republic. And everybody is demanding death to the king. Because as long as he is alive, power of the National Assembly is threatened. So January of 1793, Louis XVI is beheaded by guillotine. The Republican enthusiasm sweeps throughout all of France. The National Convention debates the future of the rebellion. You had Jacobins, which were members of the Democratic Party on one side, and the Girondists, who were the members of the French moderate Republican Party on the other. And the Jacobins, shockingly, were the ones who were more violent and more extreme than the Republican Party. So worry, shockwaves were sent throughout all of Europe. Great Britain, the Netherlands, Spain, Austria, Prussia, and Sardinia form an alliance against the revolutionary government in France. So France's leaders want to overthrow royalty everywhere and expand beyond their borders. The French Committee on Public Safety was established. European nations forced the French to surrender. So this is where we get to the reign of terror. You have the Jacobins versus the Girondists. So they, the problems at home created food shortages and civil war. The Jacobins ultimately win control of the convention. Because remember, the Gironde don't actually change anything. There's still this massive amount of debt and food shortage. And so people aren't seeing the turnover very quickly and change. So the Jacobins win. They want to crush all opposition and begin arresting the Giron delegates. So the Committee of Public Safety and Maximilien Robespierre actually rule as one. This is seen as the Republic of Virtue, and it's made up of the Republic of Good Citizens. 
many leaders of the revolution were executed because they didn't want them to spread ideas to overthrow the Committee of Public Safety in Maximilian. The death tolls were enormous. Maximilian took it really too far, and ultimately he was arrested and executed, and the Jacobins lose power, and the terror ends. By the mid-1970, or 19, 1794, many are in favor of restoring the monarchy. We're talking, like, Spanish Inquisition level, like, bad. So then you have phase three. This is the third constitution that we have going on here in, like, five years, all right? So the new constitution is written and the directory is established. There's a five-man executive council. There's a two-house legislature. And the directory uses the army to suppress many of the uprisings by the royalists and the radicals. And they struggle with ruling France. Many people look to the army to help save France. And this is where Napoleon Bonaparte, Napoleon Bonaparte, um, who is a military leader, defeats the Austrians and gains the land. And because of this, he gains support and he becomes a very powerful man. When Napoleon returns to France after hearing that they had lost the British fleet, Um, Napoleon joins the coup d'etat against the directory. And we'll look at the next video what happens.